Hello my soccer universe. Well, with the international break upon us, it's time to show you uh, an unpacking for an international shirt. This time it's not necessary unpacking but a straight up reveal but story first. Uh, you know and if you don't, here's a video that my friend uh, through YouTube met, visit me for a Lusk game and in the run up of course we have been talking about shirts that I um, could get through him shirts that he was about to sell uh, for um, uh, you know for his charity charity or in general to fund uh, some of his stuff and in total he brought me three shirts one will be my Christmas present I can already tell you and it's a really really special one that's why I keep it even though it is mid-November and it's already in the house I have not even seen it Give it straight to, to my wife. This is my Christmas present. It is super, super special. And then there are two others that are also really cool. One is a club shirt that I will show you a little bit later. And then we have one international shirt, which is also kind of special. And it's similar line as this Austria 2006 away jersey. It's also an away jersey from 2006. But unlike the Austria shirt, this was actually worn at the World Cup. Like this Austria jersey. It also features a number and you know uh, no without further ado let me show it to you it's actually it's really funny be, uh, the way it is uh, is coming now to me but I'll tell you about this later lab let me reveal the shirt it is the Czech Republic away jersey from 2006 see really the number it's of course with Thomas Rosicki on, on, on the back, which makes it extra special. And what makes it even more special, it has the World Cup patch, which I think is really, really, really nice. It's an amazing shirt, and it's actually one that I've been a little bit... I, I want to, you know, I have two Czech home jerseys. I want to have a Czech away jersey, and I have to say the ones for the 2006 World Cup were really well done, where you have this big lion from the coat of arms. and. Again, I know why they use the modern logo, but this one looks so much cooler, especially the Eagle of Moravia. I think it's something I really like. This is the Bohemian Lion, and I think this is Silesia, uh, the black eagle on the golden background. So it actually looks really, really cool. Um, fortunately, then the, this top part is slightly calm, 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 calm off here, I just see. But other than this, it's in really good condition. This probably will enter a little bit the museum collection. I don't think I will wear this A. Uh, because of this little blemish that maybe one could iron over, but I'm not sure if how this will hold on. Uh, but the other thing is that also here on the inside, those things are coming slightly off. The material is not a very uh, pleasant one to wear, to be honest. This was this weird uh, material, very paper-like from Puma, uh, very rigid uh, in, 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 in a way. Um, that's not so much fun, but overall, it's a really, really cool shirt. And again, the names that attack, uh, um, intact, Rosicki, uh, you get the little accent there. I always like uh, shirts with uh, special accents. The one thing, though, what I didn't like back then is that Puma insisted to have only lowercase letters. That just doesn't seem right. I just had to double check, but this shirt was actually worn twice at that World Cup. Uh, once in the 3-0 opening game for the Czech Republic in Gelsenkirchen as 3-0 thumping of the United States. You really thought this is a Czech team, and you remember this was a Czech team that probably should have made it at least to the finals of Euro 2004, were um, kicked out by um, uh, Greece, so they were flying high and we had high expectations of them with Jan Koller, Thomas Rosicki, uh, Pavel Nedved in there and when they beat the US, uh, US team that was actually cool, not seen as really weak, you really thought it's going good but then they lost wearing the home jersey to Ghana at home and then in the final group game against Italy they also lost 2-0 and were actually out of the World Cup and it's a weird story with the Czechs and World Cups at the Euros, the Czechs usually qualify and usually do well. This was the last uh, World Cup that the Czechs have qualified, which is a staggering statistic. On top of that, in that game at the USA, Rosicki actually scored two goals, namely the 2-0 and the 3-0 in the um, thumping of the United States. He, of course, was a Dortmund Arsenal uh, star. 
And what makes it really funny is that now I got through Matt a Rosicki check away jersey. I got him as a um, surprise or mystery uh, shirt. Uh, Borussia Dortmund 2002 away jersey, a black and yellow striped one, also with Rositsky on the back. So basically, we're kind of exchanging Rositskis. As for the price, well, uh, we actually agreed I got him tickets for the Sturm Graz game and that paid for this shirt. Simple as that and I am very, very pleased with the deal overall. As I said, it's a shirt I really like. I always want to have a Czech away jersey. As I said, this is probably entering my museum wing because the numbers are a little bit damaged. I probably have to be do some ironing over a little bit in order to salvage what can be salvaged. I think it is still in the shirt over is in really good condition. It's just that the number is maybe a little bit off, but you know. It's almost 20 years old, so what would you, you expect? And having just said that boggles my mind the 2006 world cup is 70 years away <laughs> that's a long time any case please let me know what you think about this jersey give me a thumbs up enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel we'll see more talk to you soon bye hey there i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too also please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe and with that have a wonderful day Bye.